Hello, we are Team Roverova from VSB Technical University of Ostrava, Czech Republic. We are pleased to present our rover for the University Rover Challenge 2023. After an eventful year of upgrades and testing, we are ready to compete in the challenging missions in the middle of the Utah desert. In this video, we will show you our current approach to the competition tasks. The Extreme Delivery mission provides a challenging experience for the rover and its operators. The rover's suspension is a sturdy averaging rocker mechanism that can overcome 30cm obstacles without problems. The wheels have integrated hub motors with planetary gearboxes and flexible 3D printed tires. This combination provides necessary torque, traction and compliance to drive through a variety of obstacles like logs, rocks, planks or boxes. The wheels have enough power to drive the robot into steep slopes up to 45 degrees. The wheels are also capable of independent steering allowing the rover to drive in multiple different modes. Once our rover reaches the objects for retrieval, it can grasp them using its manipulator. Small objects like hand tools can be transported directly in the end effector or stored in a side-mounted container module. Larger objects up to 5 kilograms can be lifted and carried. The collected objects will then be delivered to a specified location. There are two lithium polymer batteries powering the rover a 4S for the logical circuit and a 6S for powering all motors. Both are designed to last about 2 hours of driving around. In the case of any unexpected behavior, the stop button can be pressed, which cuts all power from both batteries. The autonomous navigation is implemented through ROS. The standard move-based package was customized for our needs, to work with our rover geometry and to perform the search for goalposts and gates. The localization relies on the fusion of visual and IMU odometry from Z2 camera, wheel odometry and data from GPS module. The navigation algorithm is running on the rover itself and does not rely on the wireless connection to the operator station. Right now we are in the process of testing different search strategies in simulations and real field conditions. Once the rover reaches the desired coordinates, it will begin a search strategy to find a goal post, attempt to drive near it and display its current state with the lights on its mast. The equipment servicing mission is where we focus on our manipulator. It has 6 degrees of freedom, it uses DC motors with a combination of spur, worm or cycloidal gearboxes to perform its functions, and many of the parts are manufactured with 3D printing, including the cycloidal gearboxes on the second and third joints. The manipulator is remotely controlled by a custom operator panel. The panel allows three different modes of controlling the manipulator. There is a scaled-down replica of the manipulator for direct teleoperation, a mode for running to safe positions or pre-programmed trajectories, and an inverse kinematics mode for precise control in individual directions, either through buttons or with a 6DOF mouse. And just like that, switches, knobs, buttons, doors, keyboards, drawers, screws, USB ports and joysticks all can be manipulated intuitively. The communications between the rover and the operator are taken very seriously. Therefore, there is an emphasis on redundancy. We can control all systems and get feedback data through Wi-Fi. Router with an omnidirectional antenna in the combination with the directional antenna on the operator station provides up to 1 km connection. The critical systems can also be controlled with an RC transmitter through a 900 MHz link. This provides control of up to several kilometers. A redundancy of visual feedback is achieved with several FPV analog cameras and transmitters on 5.8 GHz. The crucial data, like views from the end effector, is thus doubled. The redundancy in our communications allows us to drive the rover on Wi-Fi only or completely without Wi-Fi. For the science mission, an additional laboratory module is mounted on the rover. This module is equipped with a variety of environmental sensors and mechanisms to analyze samples of soil. Once the rover reaches the sampling location, it uses the manipulator with the scooping end effector to collect a soil sample. The soil sample is then loaded to the module through a hopper mechanism. The mechanism deposits specified volume of soil into vials and dumps the excess soil out of the module. Samples are stored in vials on a rotating carousel. The vials are filled with chemicals that react with the soil sample. The module can perform multiple proof reactions at the same time while observing the outcome with a camera. It can even heat the samples if necessary. Thanks to this analysis, we will be able to support a hypothesis of extinct or extant life. We will continue testing our system and rehearsing the missions in order to be ready for anything the competition will throw our way. Team Roverova is looking forward to meeting you in Utah. <laughs>